Oh my God. All right. So you want to drop the bomb? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's drop weird, the bomb, but... Brianna. Okay. It's Thursday, March 2nd. We have made it to the month of March. When are the Ides of March? I love the Ides of March. Do you guys know what the Ides of March are? The 15th, right? I think so. It's when Caesar got killed. It's like this great plotting dark time of the year. I love the Ides of March. Um, So we can talk about that next week or the week after whenever the 15th shows up. This is the Token CEO podcast. It's episode 263. I'm Erica. I'm the CEO of Barstool Sports. And we are presented by Omega Accounting Solutions. So Omega Accounting Solutions is our small business champion and partner. What's incredible about Omega Accounting Solutions is really one thing. They care solely about small businesses, and they make it so that small businesses who employed people during COVID can get up to $26,000 per employee through something called the Employee Retention Credit. The time to apply to the Employee Retention Credit expires beginning on March 31st, so you only have a month to do it. Omega, as I mentioned, is a small business champion with teams dedicated to maximizing tax credits. CPAs even turn to Omega for ERC guidance. You can call 1-800-309-ERC. That's 1-800-309-ERC. Or visit omegataxcredits.com slash barstool sports now to learn more. Okay, so we were supposed to have Robin, Girl Boss Town on, who I'm very enamored with. I was just having a conversation about her this morning. But my girl, Brianna Decker, DM'd me the other day and was like, hey, I got some news. Can I come on token? And I was like, yeah, obviously, because I love Brianna Decker to the world's end. And so she has big news and it's timely. So Robin's going to take a beat. She's going to hold with us. Um, And... Brianna is going to join us today. So Brianna Decker, Team USA, incredible person, incredible hockey player. She's got some news to share. um, And this is our conversation today. Oh, my God. All right. So you want to drop the bomb? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's it's Drop the bomb, Brianna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm retiring from playing. It's crazy. All right. And how do you feel? Um, Honestly, I feel it's the right time and right move for me. I think um, I've had a great career and amazing people that I have been able to play with and get coached by and surround myself with. And um, I'm in the coaching field a little bit now. And I realize that I have a huge passion for coaching and um, you know, sometimes athletes who retire have a tough time transitioning into whatever's next in their life. And um, I'm back at the prep school that I went to for hockey and coaching there. And um, I'm just in a great spot. I'm super happy. And um, it's been awesome to be able to see the impact I've made on some of these younger kids, yeah. um, even just this year with coaching. And so I realized that it's kind of fulfilling that like passion of mine that probably would have been really missed if I didn't have something kind of lined up right away. I was thinking about you last night and I'm like, I wonder if she's going to have like a car dealership in Minnesota. Like, wouldn't that be amazing if it was like the Brianna De- Decker Ford dealership? <laughs> that would be awesome. That it would be, be awesome. You'd be a really good car salesperson. Like you could really, people would want to buy cars for me. I was like, you think she's going to have a car dealership? Okay. And was it a hard decision to make? Like how long have you been wrestling with this? Um. Well, obviously like, at the Olympics last year, getting yeah. hurt was really tough. Um, yeah. And it was a really tough spring. I would say like more mentally than anything, it was just really hard to get through. I think, um, you know, when I was at the Olympics, it was kind of like you, you suck it up. You're there for your team. You're there yeah. in every aspect except for yourself. And then the spring was like, holy crap, like everything kind of boom, just hit me. Yeah. Um, and then I got through summer, everything kind of started to like segue into a better, better spot for me. Um I would say in the last like few months or so was when I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready to be done playing. Um, Cause I wanted to give myself a full year one because of recovery and yeah. um, you know, injury wise. And then two, just like, I want to make sure that I'm making the right decision and am I going to miss it? Am I not going to miss it? Um, yeah. And like right now, like I, I definitely, I miss like competing. Like that was like the one thing. And for me that like was huge it was just like the competition aspect like I love that you can't get that anywhere else so but you could play in like a beer league oh, yeah. 
you know, I, could. I, I probably like, like a nightmare, I, but I probably, I probably will. Cause I, like I said, like I enjoy it enough and I skate with the girls at school once in a while. Um, yeah. so it is fun. Like I, that's why like, I definitely am like, I kind of miss it in ways, but, um, it is nice to take like a little bit of a different route as far as like not making it like so competitive, um, yeah. which is kind of tough for me on a Monday morning, but um, yeah. I do, uh, I, I, I do miss it in, in ways, but in def- definitely in other ways I don't. But I also think like coaching kids, you're going to be able to live vicariously. Like that's, what's so great about you. You are always such a self, I think you're just such a selfless athlete, like such a selfless player, such a like the consummate team player. And now you're going to see your, your players are, you know, you'll still feel the victory of it. You know, you might not have the sweat, but yeah, it's, it's funny. Like I obviously called my, told my family, um, at one point a couple weeks ago, you know, like, Hey, I'm going to announce it. And my one brother's like, okay, great. That's awesome. Um, okay. Now under the coaching. So now you have to do everything that you did as a player and you did as a coach. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. What so, kind of, so what kind of coach are you going to be? Like, have you watched miracle? Like, you know, 700 more times, yeah. like what kind of coach are you going to be? Um, I mean, from like actually a personality and coaching standpoint, um, I've really developed into, and Okay. So how I am as a player is I'm like, when it's at the rink and, you know, you're doing everything at the rink, you're, it's all business. Um, yeah. That's how I was as a player. And I have found that's kind of how I am as a coach. Okay. Like, so you're all business. All business at like at the rink on the ice inside the, inside the rink. And then, you know, um, outside the rink, like I'm, I goof around with the kids and, you know, have fun. I have to show both sides, obviously. Um, so that Are way, you only going to coach girls? Or are you going to coach boys too? I think, I think I'm open to whatever kind of opportunity comes my way. Um, right now where I'm coaching is like the perfect spot, um, perfect, like work life balance too. Yeah. Um, like I'm on spring break right now for two weeks. So it's kind of nice. Where, no where are you? <laughs> I'm at my parents' house. Yeah. Is you know, that, there's fish. Is that, yeah. I love, is it a Billy Bass fish? Like it'll sing to you or is that like a real, like a trout <laughs> that somebody caught? No, it's the real, uh, real musky my dad caught. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what if we raise you into like a great NHL coach? That actually would be interesting. Yes, um, yeah, that's like I said, that's like a huge, um, you know, job oh, opportunity that, that could maybe, this. yeah, could actually happen. Um, I The one thing, again, going back, like kind of talked to me about how I was as an athlete, like as a coach, like I want to go through like the stepping stones the right way yeah. and not jump into something that's like a little, you know, where I'm drowning a little bit and yeah. where I'm at right now, it's like a small stepping stone, but it's like, I do the laundry. I help kids with equipment. Like I'm doing basically like, you know, everything I can to help these kids. Um, again, like the small details of everything. So that way, like when you get into a different spot, like you have just respect uh, for all those people who do those things for you when you yeah. become like a bigger, yeah, bigger totally. coach. Yeah, I think that's so, so smart. I kind of think like you were like that as a player too, where like, I was having this conversation yesterday, oddly, about how like footwork, like footwork is really important, right? Like you, you yeah. really have to have good footwork before you can go score, you know, hundred goals or whatever you want to master in your position. And I think you're, you're kind of embarking into the footwork of coaching. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's a good way to put it. That's fun. Oh, I'd love to see you as an NHL coach <laughs> or like a big men's hockey college coach. Yeah. That's what we should do. Okay. I love that. Are the like women's hockey people freaking out or what's the, everyone's got to be so school they don't know. So some, do some you- don't know some, I mean, obviously I called some of my closest teammates and told them and some of my, uh, like closest, what's Amanda Kessel so- going to do? I'm like sad. I'm like sad. I got to get into the back into my group. It was, it was super tough. I, I texted her a couple um, about a week ago, kind of actually they're at preparing for the rivalry series that they had. And um, we both were, I think we're tearing up on the other side of the phone yeah. um, just cause we, I mean, our journey has been incredible. Like we play against and with each other since we were like eight years old. Like, yeah, it's totally. Nuts. So yeah. Um, I always like say like with her, it's like, we have this, we're cut from the same cloth as far as like, the will to win and just like doing whatever it takes. Like, I just felt like we had that connection and that's like one part of one fraction of why I'm going to miss playing with someone like yeah. her, like off totally. the ice, I have a blast. Like she just totally hilarious. So do you feel like if there had been a real pro option, do you think you would have played longer or is it time? It's just time regardless. 
I think it's time. I think it would have maybe like, I, I just don't see myself playing professional um, anymore. Do I see myself maybe stepping into a coaching role at that, at some point with the professional leagues, if they're well-developed and where they need to be like for sure at some point. Um, but I think from a playing standpoint, I'm like, when it's time to move on, it's time. To yeah. Move it's on. time. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. You have a good sense of timing. All right, so let's check, take a quick break and talk about C4 Energy. So C4 Energy is the secret fuel behind Barstool's energy. If you want to know how we got through the Super Bowl with mini golf and radio and the house shenanigans and staying up late and whatnot, it's C4 Energy. C4 Energy has zero sugar, zero calories, and zero, zero carbs with clinically studied carnosin beta alanine and 200 milligrams of caffeine for elevated performance. I could definitely use that. C4 energy is energy that you can feel and the people here at Barstool Sports love it. Get C4 energy at c4energy.com. You can also find it on Amazon and retailers nationwide like 7-Eleven and Walmart. Okay. So what do you do? What you talk about work-life balance? What are you doing in your free time? Um, okay. Well, I'm obviously busy with my dog quite a bit. Um, yeah. How's the dog? She's great. Um, she's napping right now for once. So it's nice. Um, and then it's, it's nice. Like right now, like, like I said, work-life balance, like, um, with, with the job that I have, like the summers are a little less hectic um, as far as like if you're coaching college you're on the road and recruiting quite a bit yeah that's right um, I kind of have a little bit of summers off but yeah I have like a great Thanksgiving Christmas and spring break um, so I'm able to go visit family brothers live out of the state so oh you'd be so good at recruiting Um, yeah, I, I would, I would think I would do okay at it. Um, oh, you'd be great. At it. I just don't know if I want to be able to be in a rink, the, a rink 24 seven. So, you, you know what though, I say all this 24 seven. No, watching, watching youth kids play. Like, oh, shit. I, wanna... yeah, I wouldn't like that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like they, you're like the ringer. They, somebody else watches and then you like, you're brought yeah. in and you're like flash the Brianna Decker smile. And like, <laughs> ding. <laughs> Yeah. So we'll see though. I mean, like, like I said, like my options for coaching, I'm, I'm open-ended with everything and what happens and the future opportunities that arise kind of take them. Ah, them, I'm so excited for you. I think this is great. I think your contribution is going to be so much bigger now. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Don't you think so? I I definitely think, um, you know, I'm trying to change the, the younger generation that's coming up is different than how we were. And I soft or they're like, great. (laughs) Well, you know, I can't wor- use the word soft, you know, but yeah. You can't sure, say that soft. anymore? <laughs> I think they're so soft. They are I definitely, yes, they're we can soft. say that. They're softer. Um, And I mean, I was just, you know, just talking like it's, they're softer, but I'm trying to change one athlete at a time into yeah. something, you know, to them not being soft and preparing them for how the reality is when you get to the mm-hmm. next level. That's awesome. So, um. Okay. So can people still follow you? How are we going to follow your journey? Yes, I'll still be on Instagram, probably not too active, but I'll be there. Um, yeah. And I'm still having opportunities to coach the U18 national team. Um, I did did that in Sweden a couple months ago, and hopefully my career can continue on with USA Hockey in the coaching role too. So, um, But I definitely will be active on Instagram here and there. And um, But in reality, it's like I need to – I'm such a – in the present, yeah. present person and yeah. making sure that, you know – um, I'm following in those footsteps of being present and taking the oh, that's of the day to day. Oh, so great. Wait, yeah. this is going to be so fun. So we could like be a great coaching star and then you could have the car dealership. It's, it's all, I'm, I'm excited for you. I really think yeah. you should coach men. Yeah. Yeah. You I mean, you I... should coach women, like women, we need all the help we can get, but I also, there aren't any big female coaches in the NHL, right? No, there's, there's not, um, there's obviously some coaches, some female coaches in the supporting roles and GM roles. Um, but like I said, we um... need like you screaming (laughs) on the bench with like a big wad of gum in your mouth and like a suit, like I can see it. (laughs) All right. It would be fun. (laughs) Are you going to be like a gum chewer? Are you going to be like a nervous gum? Are you a gum chewer coach? What kind of coach are you like Um, on on the bench? Okay, well, if I have gum, I would like chomp it. So I stick to mints. Yeah. Oh, you're a mint mint person. Like lifesaver mints, you know, like like you're popping them. 
like yeah I'll put them on yeah, the third okay. period and you're like just popping mints yeah exactly <laughs> do you dress up for games or do you wear like your zip up like workout wear? yeah no no I'm I'm in like dress like a dress coat and stuff yeah cool. yeah all right well I love you Brianna Decker I'm so happy for you you are an incredible person more than a hockey player or a coach but you are also fabulous at those things um and I'm just I can't wait to follow your journey thank you Erica and I want to say thank you for everything um not only with my career but everything you do for women's sports women in general and women's hockey um you've been incredible for us and I know you'll continue to be that way because it's who you are so thank you maybe we can have a car dealership together there that would be yeah that'd be good because I think maybe the business side you might be like on the a business side I can sell for you yeah that's right <laughs> Or we could have like a, what do, what are ex-athletes do? They have like an airport chain of restaurants. We could have that. There you know go. what I mean? Perfect. Like that a steak great. place. Um, okay. <laughs> Keep me posted. Congratulations. I'm going to go give Amanda Kessel a hug. Oh, I feel so badly for those girls. But um, all right. You keep me posted. Awesome. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. All right. That's it for our episode. And we will see you back here on Tuesday for Q&A.